Good? Good. A couple of weeks ago, I experienced an absolute treat. I had the privilege of spending Sunday evening through Wednesday morning at Glen Erie Castle in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I was asked to lead worship and take my place at the table with the Gospel Advancing Ministry Council, facilitated by Dare to Share Ministries. It was so good to reconnect with amazing men and women of God, brothers and sisters in Christ, co-laborers and friends. We worshiped together, we learned together, we shared best practices, and worked out strategies for effectively advancing the gospel in a post-COVID world. I was personally impacted by many aspects of the trip, but one story in particular stood out to me. The Glen Erie Castle has become a bit of a headquarters for the Navigator's Ministry. The castle was built in 1871 by General William Jackson Palmer, the founder of Colorado Springs. After General Palmer died in 1907, the castle remained mostly vacant. In the 1950s, someone who had been greatly impacted by the preaching of the great Billy Graham offered the property to Billy at an incredibly low price. Billy accepted the offer, but before he completed the purchase, he realized he didn't actually want the property. Instead, he believed the property should belong to Dawson Trotman, who was the founder of the Navigator's Ministry. Dawson started the Navigators in the 1930s. He was a simple lumberyard worker with a big vision from God. He was an evangelist and a disciple maker at heart. He once picked up a foul-mouthed hitchhiker and led the man to Christ. About a year later, he once again picked up a foul-mouthed hitchhiker, and while telling the hitchhiker about Jesus, Dawson realized that this was the same man he had led to Christ a year earlier. At that moment, he realized that he needed to develop a method for not just making converts, but also for making disciples. And that is exactly what he did. He formed the Navigators, which was initially a ministry to U.S. Navy sailors. The Navigators would teach the sailors about Jesus and disciple them to grow in their faith. Before long, Dawson was working alongside of Billy Graham, praying for people who put their faith in Jesus at Billy's Crusades. But Billy did not think that was enough. One day, Billy turned to Dawson and he said, you need to develop something to disciple these men and women after they put their faith in Christ. Dawson responded by saying, I can't do that. Someone else has to do it. Billy pointed his finger at Dawson and said, there is no one else. The Lord wants you to do it. So he did. Dawson and the Navigators discipled countless men and women who put their faith in Christ during Billy Graham's Crusades. In 1956, Dawson was enjoying himself at Shroon Lake, a property in New York that belonged to another ministry called Word of Life. He and his friend Jack Wurtson, the founder of Word of Life, were water skiing along with some other friends. One of the girls who happened to be riding in the boat with them did not know how to swim. When the boat took a sharp turn to the right, Dawson and the girl who did not know how to swim both fell overboard. Knowing that the girl would surely drown without his help, Dawson held a firm grip on her and he used every ounce of energy to keep her head above the water until help arrived. Help arrived and the girl was saved, but Dawson was not. Using all of his strength to keep the girl above water left him unable to stay above the water himself. Dawson Trotman died that day at the young age of 50. His funeral service was held in the great room at Glen Erie Castle, the very same room in which the Gospel Advancing Ministry Council was meeting here recently. The great Billy Graham spoke at Dawson's funeral. Billy Graham said of Dawson Trotman, I think Dawes has personally touched more lives than anybody I have ever known. Wow. I am personally encouraged and challenged to live as Dawson Trotman lived and died, saving as many lives as possible. Jesus said in John 15, verse 13, Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. This week, I am thankful for life. I am thankful for eternal life. I am thankful for abundant life. More than anything, I am thankful that Jesus laid down his life for me so that I could truly live. He laid down his life for you too. Like Dawson held up that girl above the water, I'm holding you up right now in prayer. And I'm praying that if you are watching this, you will put your faith in Jesus Christ alone for salvation and live forever. This week's Midweek Worship Connection is brought to you by the 5K Every Day in the Month of May Challenge. Have you signed up yet? Watch this quick video and get signed up to join us in 2021. Hey, this is Jeff Pullen and family, and we just wanted to officially invite you to join us for the 5K Every Day in the month of May 2021 challenge. It's going to be bigger, betterer, and awesomer than ever before. I know you're wanting to get out there and to get active, to become physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually stronger. Me too, let's do this together. Think you can't do it? You can. 
We did. Now here's how the challenge works. First, sign up at my webpage, www.jeffpullamusic.com. It's completely free to officially sign up, but you have to officially sign up in order to claim your awesome prize. A totally awesome 5K May 2021 finishers t-shirt. Second, get out there and run and or walk at least a 5K, 3.1 miles, every single day in the month of May 2021. Third, be sure to check in by leaving a comment on my check-in blog at www.jeffpullmusic.com on May 1st, May 15th, May 30th, and June 1st. Fourth, claim your awesome prize. There will be a second registration at the end of the challenge that is specifically for 5K May 2021 finishers. Now pay attention, this is super important. You have to complete all four parts of this challenge in order to receive your finisher's t-shirt. So go ahead and get the process started by signing up for the challenge today. Get your friends in on it and commit to working together to finish the 5K May 2021 challenge. Misery loves company. I mean, we're all stronger together. Once you are signed up, get yourself ready to rock. I'll be releasing short videos throughout the month of April to help you get prepared and ready to hit the ground running or walking on May 1st. Also, for those of you who wanna go above and beyond the base level challenge, we do have some optional challenges just for you. The first optional challenge is to read three chapters of scripture each day. We will start in Matthew 1 and get all the way to Acts 4. Each day I'll be blogging on my website about my daily run and Bible reading, and I would love to hear about your run and your Bible reading as well. So feel free to interact with the daily blog as much as you are comfortable. Also, to help you with this bonus challenge and to make things a little more interesting for your daily walk and or run, I will be putting out a daily podcast in which I'll be reading the three chapters of scripture each day, as well as offering commentary and bringing in some great guests to the podcast and share some original music as well. And finally, we will once again be facilitating the super optional 5K Mayhem challenge on Saturday, May 29. More info on that amazing challenge will be coming closer to the time. For now, just get on my website and get signed up. Do it! You know you want to, come on! 5K Every Day in the month of May is proudly facilitated by Jeff Pullman Music, Vertical Runner of Worcester, and Better Life Coffee. Last week, we enjoyed a blast from the past with Poland bands, We All Fall Down. This week, let's continue walking down memory lane with the Live to Shine, the cartoon. <laughs> Everything's broken 
shot at life Our God has made us light Said good 